Could the simple act of painting help me manage my anxiety? My name is Celia Pacola and I am a stand-up comedian, actor and writer. And I experience anxiety. But I have a history of depression and anxiety, which is sexy. And um... Everyone has anxiety, but when it's at a point where it's not manageable, when I'm physically scared of something that is not a physical threat, that's when I go, this is at a level that is not acceptable for my life moving forward. I would like to change that. Today I am here to meet artist and psychotherapist Nula Diamantopoulos, who is going to take me through, I am told, a very simple, creative exercise. Celia! Oh, hello! So good to see you! Nice to that will hopefully become uh, one of the tools I can use to manage and reduce my anxiety. And it's something that you can follow on with at home. I'm ready for art class. Ready? Yep. Shall I lead? Yes, please. Right, let's go. This is our... Official art station. This is the official art station where well, we're going to do some Hiromeki art. Hiromeki? Yeah. I know what that is, but just for people watching who you might do? not know. No, of course I don't. <laughs> Absolutely not. What is Hiromeki, Nola? So Hiromeki really just means a spontaneous splash and blobs and drips, animating them and turning them into your superpower with a doodle. I love it. Not what? just because doodle is a very funny word, and that's <laughs> my whole deal. <laughs> Um, so it's involving paint? You can do it with ink, paint, anything that will allow us a bit of freedom because we don't want to control this, okay. right? Ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do to start off with... What do I need? And I've just got this piece of paper, so there's that. But I've also got another brilliant idea. I've opened up a brown paper shopping bag. We could do our splatches and splotches and dribs and drabs on something like that. To do here to make it home, you just need some acrylic paints some brushes maybe, you can use twigs. I have supplies in my cupboard that I can use. I've got paints and crayons and bits and pieces in a big box of whatever. Have a look in your box of whatever and I'm pretty sure you'll find something in there that you can scribble with. The point is you can have something in your house You can find something in your this. house that you can use. Just, oops, excuse me. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Doodle and a fart noise. <laughs> Nula, this is the kind of therapy that I'm into. <laughs> Physically, for me, anxiety is very much an upper body thing. A lot of pressure goes upwards like my head's going to explode. Do you want to see me just yes, do something please. silly? I'm just doing mark making. It doesn't, didn't come from anywhere, it didn't mean anything. I'm just moving the brush, it's got paint on it and gesturing with my hand. So don't do it, don't even think about just, it. You know, just, do just do it, just do it. I don't know why that seems like more pressure. So there's a generalised wave of dread and anxiety about nothing, or there's a something's happened and my mind cannot let go of, that was the worst, what did you say that for? Just that catastrophizing. <gasps> Is that amazing or what? It's pretty great. It's pretty great, I reckon so too. It's quite dark. It's got a lot of mood and emotions, but I like it. When we engage with the expressive arts and being present, anxiety takes us out of the present moment. We are okay in present time because we can't predict the future, we can't change the past. Are you enjoying this right now? It's quite nice, it's quite nice. Excellent. It's hard not think to not think about it? I'm trying to not to just do a thing. Okay, no, I'm really curious to find out what happens if you were to do exactly the same thing, right, yeah. and switch hands. Oh! Hiromeki is also aligned to being mindful. Mindfulness is about being actively involved with our environment and, and connecting body, mind, and brings us back into present time. What was the difference between you working that way and you working this way? It was more fun, rather than I know, you know, I'm aware I'm part of a process, you know. When I was first just doing the painting side, I wasn't completely calm, but also it's hard to know what amount of that is the fact that there's cameras pointed at me. But then Nola suggests I do it with my opposite hand, which made a huge difference straight away because I suddenly didn't have the mental capacity to be thinking about what it looks like on film. Um, but I can see how if you're at home just with some paints and doing some squiggles, that that could be a relaxing thing. So I think there's a good exercise for people who might find meditation difficult. That movement that is taking place, the smell of the paint, the sounds that are being made by the brushes, all of this is engaging us back into our body and in that our thoughts recede. That's the magic. Once the paint's dry, we get to animate these little gestures, blobs, splashes, splishes and splotches. My anxiety is different at the moment because I'm currently 
pregnant. I'm having a lot more anxiety dreams pretty much every day. Whereas usually I have a big anxiety about a thing, I complete that thing and then I am anxious about another thing. Whereas this is a general, the rest of my life anxiety kind of thing. I would like to invite you uh -huh. to explore uh -huh. uh, with me what you may feel are your qualities that are strengths-based. That's tricky. For example, humour. I hope so, because that's my right? whole job. Your whole job is that, right? <laughs> but it, right? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's an example. I sort of find that difficult, and I think a lot of other people would as well, trying to find things that you like about yourself, particularly if you are dealing with mental health issues. I find it hard to find good qualities about yourself, let alone say them out loud to someone else and on camera. It feels yucky to do that. I mean, I'd like to say, I'd like to say kind. Yeah. I'd like to say kindness. Yeah. We've got humour, we've got kindness. Humour and kindness, they sound pretty great. Probably don't need a third one. But the ones we got to are ones that I'm like, yeah, I can see that and that felt, I felt okay. Silly is very much who I am, but is that the same as humour? We came up with for me, um, humour and kindness and silly, which I'm comfortable with saying about myself. There, I've just put those words okay. there so we've okay. got them in our mind side, okay? That's a fun person. I like that person. We're going to turn them into superpowers right now. Superpowers is a reminder that we have inner resources that we often forget, some strengths that we can call on. And then we chose silly to explore, which was great of Nola to push that one because that was the one I was thinking, well, that won't work because that's not what you think of as a traditional strength. Just look at your gestural marks that yeah. were nothing, that meant nothing, right? Yeah. Which one reflects silly for you? Well, there's one over there that I've I been know, eyeing. I know, I noticed your eye Do you know there? why? Why? Because it's pretty, it looks like a rainbow colour, but it also looks like a ducky. Now, what we're going to do to animate it, and this is where our imagination kicks in even further, right? We're going to put either legs or arms or hands or eyes of human world or animal world, and you're going to draw it on with either a pencil or a felt pen or a pen. Whatever people use, they just need to use something different. Yeah, Clear because you're now, now comes your doodle. It's not even really, doodle. It's not really <laughs> even a drawing. You can just pull goofy eyes on goofy there. Eyes. You can put but ears it's... on there, but it's something that for you. Res resonates a sense of whatever, it, you know, because this is going to be about silly. But it's silly for me. It's silly for you. So this is a, a, a silly character. Correct. There we go, we've got an eye. Whew. Love it. Stress. See, he's a jacket. And if he's a silly, obviously he needs a propeller hat. Oh, of course he does. Okay, so he has a propeller hat. Yep, love it. So this looks like, see, he's got a little wing. And maybe some kind of shoes. Maybe he'll have wheels because Oh my god. That's so that's so You're ridiculous. amazing. <laughs> what else does he need? I mean obviously he's farting. Um <laughs> he runs on fart power. It did make me feel silly and it really was something I don't think I've said out loud before or let alone thought before, which is silly is the opposite of anxiety. He's stuck. Stuck. With a hat on wheels. It's so good. It's so good. He's running on gas. Huh? He's running on gas. <laughs> oh, that's oh, terrible. Gosh. I should have made him electric. <laughs> so if you could take a photograph of that and keep it on your phone. Mm. That little animated, you know, silliness is reminding you that you can be silly, you know, to help you get into a different state of being that doesn't maybe allow anxiety to come in as quick or as fast. I don't know if it'll help or what, but next time I am starting to feel anxious or the signs of anxiety building, I will try to use my imagination and have a conversation with the duck in my head who farts. I mean, look, let's not forget that part. Can I suggest something? I don't know if this would work. Because this particular exercise leads you to have a character in a yes. cartoon, yes. you know, is it useful to personify them even more, give them a name, imagine and have a bit of a you chat betcha. to them? Is that is that helpful or you helpful? Betcha. Because this is how we're going to grow to understand exactly the qualities of your quality. Right. So that could be something. So by the yeah. end, if you do this a lot, you eventually yeah. might have a whole little team of cartoon characters in your mind. A whole team of superpowers so that you can... Superpowers that, that you can go, yeah. hey, yeah, come guys, on. 
We're calling on you right now. I'm calling on you right now. Come in, come in. I need you right now. I would also watch that sitcom. I'm sure this is pitching an idea. <laughs> You know? A new one. Bluey's had it too good for too long. I look, <laughs> farting duck skate guy, yeah. I would watch that. Yeah. It's my hope that the people at home will uh, give it a go. Maybe they can watch this a few times and, and observe Celia's process and what unfolded for her. So when you're exploring this and doing these exercises at home, you'll find that your superpowers will be so different to Celia's. Don't judge it, be curious and see what happens. Thank you very much for this, Nola. This has been really incredible, honestly. That was a very enjoyable experience and I feel like I'm leaving with something I absolutely did not expect to yeah. be taking away. I sort of thought it'd be a calming experience because it's art, but I feel like I'm walking away with some tools um, for managing my anxiety and a little bit more knowledge about mm. myself in a really, like, sneaky way, you know? And I didn't even cry and I feel good while doing it and remarkable. And if you are following along at home, take the two-minute Black Dog Institute survey about your experience. If you do, you'll be part of an exciting citizen science project contributing to important research, which looks into the effects of creativity on our mental health. So visit the link on your screen now and get involved. Um, I hope that um, you did try this experience and it helped you. And if it didn't, please keep looking because there will be something else out there that can help. Thanks again. Thank you, Nora. Thank you. Can creativity improve your wellbeing? Find out more at abc.net.au slash space22create.